to kind of explain how I'm doing this, I've marked all the triangles with the six by six upright. That's what this is right here, six by six upright. So this is only going halfway into that six by six. The bigger triangles, I marked both sides of the six by six. And this line right here is five inches down. So this is the top of that six by six upright. And I put a screw right on that line and I have it hanging out the back side as far as I can without going onto the flat part of the shank because then I can't unscrew it. So I run that through and I run another screw through outside the line by about a quarter to three eighths of an inch. And I run that one through as far as I can. These two help hold that piece of plywood on that post. Now, if this is a bigger, one of the bigger triangles, then I'd have one on each side. So when you go to line this up on the post, you hang it from the screw on the top, the screws on the outside have a little bit of wiggle room, and then the tip on the bottom, you line up with the center of that six by six. Run the screws in down here, take these centering screws and hanging screws out, and you're all good. I've got just enough daylight to hang this last one up and get inside before it gets dark. So hang out for a second, I'm gonna get this last one done. Well, that wasn't so bad. As soon as I figured out to put that screw up top and the two screws on the sides, so I have something to kind of hang it on the post, hold it with one hand, screw it in with the other. Pretty simple. It's about finding simple ideas or simple ways to do something safely. And I know having a ladder leaning up against the scaffolding may not look too safe, but the scaffolding isn't going anywhere. It's got nice feet on it. I've got wooden pieces of 12 by 12 on the bottom of it. The legs are fully adjustable so I can level that scaffolding out every time, make it nice and solid. The ladder leans up against it. It might give or settle just a tiny bit as I first start walking up, but after that, it's rock solid. I never had to worry about it. I never felt unsafe or unstable. As long as the feet on the ladder were planted in the ground and the scaffolding was leveled out, just rock solid. Now I do have two triangles up there on this end, right in the middle there. Those two triangles are smaller than the others. Those are three foot across by three foot down. That's where the door is gonna go for the shop. And I didn't want, I want that door to be 14 foot tall, which gets into that triangle a little bit because it's 16 foot tall wall and that's three foot down. So that's the triangle gets into it by about a foot, but it is a 12 foot wide door. So I have plenty of room to pull a trailer in and out, even if it's the legal limit of 13 and a half foot tall. Plenty of room in that door. That's what I was going for. That's why I cut those triangles a little bit smaller. A lot of these triangles are single pieces also. These ones on the side, those are single pieces for the most part. That one right there is two pieces put together. And that one over there that has a three foot section, that's two pieces put together. So those aren't done yet. Usually what people do when they have a six by six post and a six by six beam, they'll have a knee brace when they have to span a large area like that, a 12 foot, and they'll have a big knee brace made out of six by six. Unfortunately, that's kind of heavy and I have no way of holding it up with one hand and screwing it in with the other with big lag bolts. So I went with the plywood and what I'm gonna add in there after I put the six by six on top, I'm gonna mill out a nice two inch thick by five and a half inch wide board. I'm gonna cut 45s on it. I'm gonna lag bolt it in to the posts and lag bolt it into the beams and then screw it into the plywood or screw the plywood into it. And that's gonna keep that plywood from having the tendency to bow out with all the weight coming down as that six by six beam starts to sag or if it ever, if it ever wants to sag. 
I know a lot of people would have gone with something more substantial than a six by six to span 12 foot, but I think with this setup, I think we'll be just fine. Not too bad for a day project, but I'm gonna head inside. Until next time, guys, go make something.